Good morning, graduates. Let's try that one more time. You say, I say good morning, graduates. You say good morning, Elliot. Good morning, graduates. That's beautiful. I have a rhetorical question for you. How cool is this? We are so happy to be together in 3D to enjoy each other's company for this great celebration and honor. Good morning to all of you graduates. Good morning, friends and family and our distinguished guests. Welcome to our college's 53rd commencement ceremony. I am Dr. Elliot Stern, Elliot, president of Saddleback College, and it is truly an honor to be with you here in person this morning, not at a drive through in person, to celebrate the class of 2022. At this time, I ask everyone to rise and direct your attention to the front of the stage for the presentation of colors. Please welcome the color guard from the Mission Viejo Recruiting Center who will present the colors for today's ceremony. We remind you to please remain standing until the colors have been retired. Also at this time, the Saddleback College Chamber Choir, directed by Dr. Dean Scott Farthing, will now perform our national anthem. Please rise. Please be seated.
Thank you all. That was truly lovely. Graduates, we're here to celebrate you today. Whether you've earned an associate's degree, a certificate of achievement, or transferring to a four-year university, all of us at Saddleback congratulate you on your success and that achievement. Today's ceremony follows an American academic tradition dating back to 1642, when the first American commencement ceremony was held at Harvard University, sometimes referred to as the Saddleback of the East. By being here today, many people did not catch that. By being here today, you have demonstrated an enormous amount of persistence, determination, and effort. And for that, you should be very, very proud. More than any other graduating class in recent history, and I mean this, you have overcome incredibly adverse circumstances and numerous obstacles. You have persevered through a global pandemic, showing your resourcefulness and succeeding in uncharted territory. Many of you taking online classes for the very first time. You have shown amazing strength and focus to get to this day. Put in, put in the simplest of terms, this is not an ordinary graduation ceremony, and you are not ordinary graduates. While we are here today to acknowledge and celebrate you, I know that in getting to where you are now, there are many people in your lives who have provided you with support and encouragement along the way. It is often through these contributions and sacrifices of your family, friends, and mentors that you reach your milestones. So graduates, let's take a moment for all of us to stand up and recognize those who have supported you on your journey today. You can be seated. I'm pleased to introduce our platform party at this time, consisting of special guests and elected leaders, including the South Orange County Community College District Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, academic administrators, faculty, and student leaders. As I announce these folks and acknowledge them, please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. First, our esteemed commencement speaker, Congress Member Mike Levin, the U.S. Representative for California's 49th Congressional District. Chancellor of the South Orange County Community College District, Dr. Kathleen Burke. Members of our boards of trustees, Marsha Milchiker, Carolyn Inman, TJ Pendergrass III, Dr. James Wright, and our student trustee for 21-22, Satara Mateen. From Saddleback College, I'd like to introduce Associated Student Government President, Sam Lockhart. Academic Senate President, Margot Lovett. Academic Senate President-elect, Heidi Ochoa. Vice President for Student Services, Dr. Juan Abalos. Vice President for Instruction, Tram Vo Kumamoto. Vice President for Administrative Services, Corey Wathen. Also joining us on stage today are Anne-Marie Gable, Vice Chancellor of Business Services for the District. Dr. Chris McDonald, Vice Chancellor for Technology and Learning Services and Dr. Cindy Viscachill, Vice Chancellor of Human Resources. Now, please join me in welcoming our administrators and distinguished guests. Today, we gather to celebrate the achievements of you all, our graduates, who recognized the importance of higher ed and made the very wise decision, we think, to come to Saddleback. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and administrators, I thank you for making that choice, for making Saddleback College part of your educational journey. That journey doesn't end today. It's fitting that the word commencement, as you know, means beginning or the start of something. Of course, today you are graduating from Saddleback, but at the same time, you're beginning the rest of your educational journey. Many of you will be continuing on to four-year universities or pursuing careers where one way or another, you will have to continue to learn and grow. What you've learned here at Saddleback will serve you well throughout your lives, and it will take you as far as you want to go toward your own educational, professional, and personal goals. There are many people who I know have been exceptionally dedicated to your success. These professionals dedicate their work to you and could not be more proud to be here and share in the celebration today. Graduates, please join me in giving our extraordinary faculty a round of applause as I ask them to stand and be recognized. 
please, faculty. I don't have to tell you that these professors have helped you prepare for the next part of your educational journey. We believe they've done so very well. That's what makes Saddleback Saddleback. At the same time, we also know that college cannot prepare you for every aspect of your life after today, after commencement. We teach you how to learn, how to think critically. We give you safe space to explore who you are, to identify your values, and figure out the role you want to play in your own community and in the world. That sets safe space has been all the more important as the world has become more polarized and more desensitized to incivility, to falsehoods, so-called alternative facts, to less outrage at even major breaches of ethics. We hope that you will take from your experience at Saddleback an appreciation of the safe space we created for you. And we hope that you will consider creating that safe space around yourselves and make similar choices as you go forward in your life. We hope that you will take from this experience the choice of a safe space in the community that you will be welcomed into. We hope you will remember the empathy that we showed you during tough times and that you showed each other. We hope that you will take from this experience an embrace of civil discourse as you had in your classrooms and embrace these as baseline expectations of yourself, your friends, your loved ones, and your workplace. To some extent, we do get to choose the communities in which we live, work, and connect with one another. In doing so, I want to tell you, you have every right to compare those communities to the one you experienced on this campus, and never turn a blind eye to incivility, to falsehoods, to disrespect, to ethical breaches, to hate, and to call it out, and to rule it out in your own lives. This, this is not some Walden. We are not Xanadu here. This is not a fantasy land. This is, this is Saddleback. And this is the way it should be. We made it this way for you, but you also made it this way for each other. And you should demand no less from the world beyond this campus. Love over hate, empathy over contempt for others, ethical behavior over self-interest, truth over alternative facts, civility over its opposite, the descent from disrespect into abuse and violence. You are way too smart and deserving to accept anything less, and now you are way too accomplished as well. Consider this about yourselves. This year, we are awarding 1,919 Associate in Arts degrees, 1,110 Associate in Science degrees, and 3,068 certificates of achievement. Over 6,000 credentials this year being awarded at Saddleback. Today, a total of 13, yes, you can clap for that. Today, a total of 1,327 of our graduates are receiving honors. We have 641 students graduating cum laude which are students with GPAs, grade point averages, between 3.5 to 3.74. So first, with that group of students, those who are graduating cum laude, would they please stand and be recognized? Congratulations. 503 of our students are graduating magna cum laude. These students have earned impressive grade point averages of 3.75 to 3.99. Would that group of students, if you are graduating magna cum laude, please stand and allow us to honor you. And finally, we have 183 students who are graduating with the highest honors, summa cum laude. These graduates have earned a 4.0 grade point average. Would these students who are graduating summa cum laude please stand and please give them a round of applause. 
As you look around and take a look at your classmates, you can see that our graduates come from all walks of life. This year, 148 of our graduates are over the age of 55. 2,091 graduates are under the age of 20. Our most senior graduate, Jill Cagle, is 77, and she is here with us today. Jill, can you stand up? There we go. You should also know that Jill is graduating cum laude with an Associate in Arts for Transfer Degree in English. I also want to take a moment to recognize our veterans and active duty military here with us today, many of whom are wearing sashes so they can be properly identified and recognized for their service. If you have served or are currently serving our country, please stand and be recognized. We all thank you for your service and sacrifice. You know, this is the best day of the year for most of us who work here at Saddleback, and I hope it's a good day for all of you as well. But the truth is we don't like saying goodbye very much. So I ask this, I ask that you please consider us a home and remember that you are always welcome here. We hope that each of you will join our alumni association and come back and visit us often. You are joining the more than 550,000 alumni of Saddleback College proud alumni who will be a forever part of our Saddleback family. On behalf of all of us here at Saddleback, congratulations. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce Marcia Milchiker, president of the South Orange County Community College District Board of Trustees, to offer her congratulations to you as well. Thank you so much, President Stern. Good morning, class of 2022. All of us have a lot in common because none of us knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> on, on behalf of the South Orange County Community College District, it's both my honor and my privilege to welcome you. As we just heard, many of you are graduating cum laude, many are graduating magna cum laude, and many of you are graduating summa cum laude. When I graduated from Ohio State, I graduated, thank the Laudy. <laughs> my name is Marcia Milchiker, and I'm the president of the Board of Trustees, and it is my sincere pleasure to welcome you um, with warmest congratulations to the Saddleback College students receiving degrees and certificates. All of you have been through so much to arrive at this place. Getting your degree was challenging, but you did it in the middle of a global pandemic. Today is a tremendous win for all of you. You have shown your strength and your resilience. Today, you have added to your resilience dividend. What does that mean? Resilience is being strong in a world where, as you know, things can go so wrong. So I want to remind you how you can build up a dividend of resilience. Remember the old saying, whatever kills you makes you stronger? Well, I feel Whatever is good, happens that's good in your life makes you stronger. And today is a good day. Not only that, it's a great day. So my advice to the class of 2022 is to keep those good memories in your head. And when life presents you with another bump, just remind yourself you navigated through that bump before and the, feel the joy and satisfaction you felt by making it through. Don't forget the joy and gratitude you felt knowing your family and friends were concerned about you, loved you, and they could be counted on. This morning, you will be receiving degrees and certificates that will continue to create unique opportunities for you. While we're celebrating your leaving Saddleback College, we hope you know that your journey is just beginning. Graduates, I ask you to take a moment to think about someone who helped you on your educational path. Maybe it's a fellow cat classmate a proud family member, a good friend, a brilliant Saddleback College professor, administrator, classified pro professional, or even board of trustee member. Re remember who helped you along the way and don't forget to thank them. You could thank them today. Cherish those, those memories and remember to pay those caring thoughts forward. 
Thinking about these successes will add to your resilience dividend and will give you the strength and confidence to overcome any obstacles you will, you will have in your lives. I know you will do well in your coming years because of your resilience and because we have trained you well. But remember that you are not going on this journey alone. We are here for you and we will always be here for you. I wish you the best in your future endeavors and congratulations, class of 2022. The future is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, students, faculty, staff, family, and friends of Saddleback College. My name is Satara Mateen, and I've had the honor of serving as your student trustee for the South Orange County Community College District this past year. I've had the opportunity to work with our incredible faculty and staff who have supported and guided me throughout the last two years. I'm excited to bring everything I've learned here as I continue my educational journey at UC Berkeley next year. I'm so grateful for the relationships and friendships I created here with some of our faculty members and fellow students. And for all the students here, congratulations on all your hard work and dedication. I wish you all the best of luck. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Kathleen Burke, Chancellor of the South Orange County Community College District. Good morning. And welcome, parents, family, friends, guests, faculty, and staff. And to the class of 2022, congratulations. As you know, this is an incredibly special moment as we celebrate commencement in person after navigating through a global pandemic for the last two years. You're hearing some themes here. Your graduation this year is at a moment that will forever make you an important part of South Orange County Community College District and Saddleback College. What you have achieved is nothing short of incredible. You pushed to continue learning, overcoming barriers, embarking on uncharted territory, and ultimately accomplishing your goal of completing requirements to earn your degree or certificate. To everyone in the audience, the graduates who sit before us did not complete this journey alone. You helped them in various ways. These graduates demonstrate your perseverance during this difficult time as well. They are your legacy. And when they walk across the stage today, you walk with them. Graduates, I know this has been a long and winding road. Shout out to the Beatles. But you all made it. Look to your left and look to your right. You made it through this journey together. Whether you remain in touch or not, graduates, you will take on the challenges of the world as the future problem solvers, fixers, the doers, and inventors. You will be the change makers, the disruptors, activists, and leaders that our world needs now more than ever. The world you commence into is unsettled in many ways. It's a world where long-established values and principles now rest on shaky ground. While inequality has always existed in our world, the gaps between the haves and have-nots, women and men, the global north and global south have existed throughout our history. Through this pandemic, those gaps have grown. Globally, extreme poverty is on the rise, as is extreme wealth. You graduate into an unsettled world, both abroad and here at home. Together, the leaders of today will look to you to tackle the biggest challenges of tomorrow. As the class of 2022, you bring possibility to the table. You're a generation who grew up online and survived a pandemic. You are familiar with a world that for many of us feels a bit strange and new. You've been engaged in this world since you were children. Most importantly, you have the ability to see what can be, unburdened by what has been. To look at the challenges facing us and find solutions that generations before never could have imagined. No pressure. When I look at you, I know the future is greater than our imaginations can currently envision. 
I wish you all the best as you go forth and create that future. Congratulations. You will always be Bobcats, and Saddleback College will be here for you whatever your future holds. Go Bobcats! It is now my pleasure to introduce today's keynote speaker, a good friend to Saddleback College, Congressmember Mike Levin. Congressman Levin represents California's 49th Congressional District, which includes North County, San Diego, and here in South Orange County. He is currently serving his second term in the United States House of Representatives. He sits on the House Committee on Natural Resources, the House Select Committee on the Climate Crisis, and the House Committee on Veterans Affairs, where he also serves as vice chair of that committee and chair of the subcommittee on economic opportunity. Some of Congressman Levin's priorities are combating climate change, protecting our natural resources, capitalizing on the economic benefits of a sustainable energy future. He is also considered a champion for expanding access to affordable health care, lowering the cost of higher education, and preventing gun violence. He is a leader in legislation to support veterans and represents, in, represents the Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. He is an advocate for improved health care and services for veterans and expanding job opportunities for those who serve. And can I just say, off script, that his conduct in every way is collaborative and generous and anathema to everything that is wrong with politics today, the divisiveness, the polarization. Our own Congressman, Mike Levin. Good morning, Bobcats. How are you doing this morning? Wow. What an honor it is to be with you in this beautiful new stadium. I want to thank uh, President Stern for his tremendous leadership, and I want to thank the Board of Trustees of the South Orange County Community College District for all their great work. I was very fortunate to have been raised here in South Orange County, and my wife and I are raising our kids here as well. And since 1968, this campus and the more than half a million alumni who have traveled through here have had a profoundly positive effect on our community. And I would argue that the impact of this institution has never been more important than right now. Because let's face it, we're meeting at a challenging time and during a difficult week. This morning, before I came to speak with all of you, I dropped off my two kids who were nine and eight years old at our local elementary school here in the Capistrano Unified School District. As I drove away, I thought of all the parents who just lost their children to gun violence, who won't be able to see them ever again. I ask that you join me, not only in praying for their families, but also with a renewed commitment to find solutions to address this problem. It's a challenging time for many other reasons as well. Just think of where we've all been for much of the last couple of years, stuck behind computer screens, trying to work and learn from home. At the same time, we've dealt with growing threats at home and abroad, particularly around disinformation and its negative impact on our democracy. About five years ago, I decided to run for Congress because I didn't like what I saw in much of Washington. Too many show horses and not enough workhorses. Too many members of the House of Representatives focused on likes and retweets rather than legislating. Too much overt partisanship and trying to win elections by breaking our democracy down rather than trying to build it up. So after a number of years as an environmental attorney and clean energy advocate, I decided to run for Congress in 2018. And we won with a grassroots campaign that refused to take corporate PAC money, something we still refuse to this day. We won to serve all the people of South Orange County and North San Diego County, whether they voted for us or not. And as I say all the time, well, it's my name on the door, it is your office. The Washington pundits and political spin doctors like to say that Congress is fundamentally broken, that nothing can get done. Unfortunately, cable news channels are all too eager to follow that same script a House of Representatives that is hopelessly divided and ineffective, where everyone is constantly at each other's throats. But I'm here to tell you this morning that while it can be very difficult to get things done, it's definitely not easy. 
And while we do have very real and consequential arguments, it is still quite possible to make a real difference. And here's what I want you to remember. Our system only works if you are involved. I mean every single one of you. You need to take the time to vote. You need to take the time to care. It also requires that when we disagree with one another, we don't vilify one another. My political opponents are not my personal enemies. Many are actually good friends. And I try to operate from the basic premise that there is almost always an opportunity to find common ground. Here's the thing, we can't be afraid to speak with one another about politics, to question each other's assumptions, to offer our opinions, hopefully with evidence to back them up, and that means accurate information, by the way, not something you just saw on Instagram that may or may not be true. But the bottom line is that life is too short to hate the person next door because of their politics. I think we're all exhausted by this. And it's time we get back to the basics, getting back to looking out for one another. So my hope is that if you're on the side of the road with a flat tire, your neighbor will stop to help without checking first to see if your bumper stickers agree with theirs. That's America. That's America. And that means that we all have to start trusting one another again, even if some politicians are telling you not to. Now, I want to highlight two specific areas where we've been able to achieve a good measure of bipartisan success in the last few years. These aren't issues that lead the cable news shows, but they're very important. And it just so happens that these are two of the same areas where Saddleback is leading the way. The first is what we're doing for our veterans. Now, I know we asked the veterans to stand. I'm going to ask the veterans to stand again, but this time I want all the veterans to stand, the ones that are in the bleachers as well. Can all our veterans stand and can we give all of them a round of applause? Thank you. I'm honored to serve as vice chair of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, where I chair the subcommittee responsible for veterans housing, homelessness, the GI Bill, transition assistance, and workforce development. I'm also the proud grandson of a World War II veteran. And while he passed away a number of years ago, I still see him looking over my shoulder, reminding me not to mess up the opportunity I have to give back to those who have given so much to keep our nation and the world safe and free. I'm grateful to Saddleback for their fantastic VETS program and for all they do to ease the transition process and provide opportunities for success for service members returning to civilian life. And in many ways, I see your program here as a model for what can and should be done in community colleges nationwide. And with your feedback and that of others in the community, in my three plus years in office, I'm proud to have had 18 bipartisan veterans bills signed into law, both by the former president and by the current president. These new laws are already making a great impact for the veterans in our community, helping improve education and housing opportunities and much more. And the good news is we're just getting started. Our next major effort is to make sure that we are truly taking care of our Iraq and Afghanistan veterans who were exposed to burn pits and have had health issues as a result. And while virtually all members of Congress like to talk a good game when it comes to helping our veterans, I am doing everything possible to make sure we are actually taking action. The second major issue I'd like to discuss is our environment, and specifically the climate crisis. I mentioned that before coming to Congress, I was an environmental attorney and clean energy advocate, and I knew that these issues would be a core part of my service. And I have some simple guiding principles. For one, we need to take actions that are commensurate with what science demands. That means we need to dramatically reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the cars we drive, how we move goods, how we build buildings, how we grow food, how we manufacture products, and how we generate the electricity that is needed to do all of the above. Also, we need to think not only about the cost of climate action, but also the far greater cost of inaction. Finally, we need to position our district and region for the clean energy jobs of the future. And that's where Saddleback plays a huge role. I'm very encouraged by all the progress you're making on automotive technology and environmental studies, and I hope many of you will choose jobs in these fields. 
We all want and need you to be wildly successful. So while we still have a long way to go, we are making progress. It's not all doom and gloom. Recently, we passed a bipartisan infrastructure law that in addition to roads, bridges, water, and broadband, includes many of the things we need to achieve our climate goals. There's a new $7.5 billion program to help create a network of 500,000 electric vehicle chargers across the nation, and another $3.3 billion for wildfire mitigation measures. We're going to need to hire about 2 million people to make all the infrastructure improvements in the new law, and I hope many of you will be the ones doing that work. Now, I don't have any simple advice, that is life advice, other than you have to try to do something that you love. So if you're waking up in the morning and you're dreading your work that day, and you can't wait for it to be 5 p.m. so you can check out, it's time to look for something else to do. On the other hand, if you wake up with the awareness that your skills are a good match for the challenges of that day, and you're excited about taking those challenges on, and you wish you had more hours in the day to tackle them, you're most certainly in the right line of work. My own experience is that money alone hasn't been enough. I felt called to serve. This may or may not be true for you. But my wish for you is that when you wake up in the morning and you think about your work that day, you'll be excited for the challenges ahead. I'm incredibly fortunate to feel this way, at least most days. I know my job won't be easy. I'll have to work with people I disagree with. I'll have to find common ground. For me, it's not about gaining the celebrity status that some of my colleagues seek. It's about doing the hard work, day in and day out, to keep moving us forward. One last thing. Be comfortable with the mistakes you're inevitably going to make along the way. Mistakes are part of the human condition. What's important is how you learn and grow from them. Your career path will not go in a straight line. There will be unexpected events. Keep pushing ahead. So Saddleback. Let's get out there and let's get to work. Thank you all so much for having me. My name is Sam Lockhart. I'm the outgoing, ace, I'm the outgoing president of Saddleback's Associated Student Government. We usually just call it ASG. I can't be up here without mentioning that like two of my predecessors, the two, past, two of the past four ASG presidents, I'll be transferring to UC Berkeley. Thank you. <laughs> we have seen in 2020 to 2021 that reality can often deliver unexpected challenges. We have seen that in 21 to 22 that we, as Bobcats, are not able to only adapt to these trials, but also grow from them. I am sure that the successive years will not only pr further prove our resilience, but our ingenuity in overcoming obstacles and progressing toward a brighter future. It has been a pleasure serving as your ASG president this past year, and it is a delight to now look upon your faces, not on a screen, but in the flesh, not miles, but meters away. I thank, President, I thank President Stern and his staff for guiding us toward a brighter future, and I do not doubt that we will thank him for keeping us in the light. And I thank you, my fellow students, for helping us rebuild this vital personal connection so that we could be where we are now. Now it is with great pleasure that I introduce Saddleback's Paragons of Resilience, Compassion, and fortitude, Angelo Josh Weiner, Doreen Greenleaf, Elijah Robles, and Tabitha Howard, who will be accompanied by members of our choir, Alexa Parvina, Chloe Konoske, and Jacqueline Sharga. Thank you. When I look into your eyes, like watching the night sky or beautiful sunrise there's so much they hold and just like them old stars I see the
that you've come so far to be right where you are. How old is your soul? Well, I won't give up on us, even if the sky. Perseverance, zeal, grit. These words explain who we at Saddleback College are. We have pierced through the pandemic, through social unrest. I chose Saddleback College because it was close to home and because I was also unsure of what I want to pursue after high school. A wise decision if I say so myself. The connections and memories with professors and friends that have truly made change the trajectory of my life. Fast forward to two years later, I'm experiencing this unreal, bittersweet feeling of not a goodbye, but simply a see you later to what I now call my second home. My name is Angelo Burro. My name is Elijah Robles, and I'm a proud California kid. My parents, Manuel and Amy, worked tirelessly to make this, this paradise of Southern California my home. California is called the Golden State, not simply for her exorbitant costs nor her border-to-border -border beauty. From Oakland to Sacktown, the Bay Area, and back down, Cali takes the crown. My parents put me through the best schools, introduced me to the game of baseball, and guided me to become an Eagle Scout. When my senior year came around, I thought I was next in line for admission to top schools and for my championship baseball season. That was before March 13th, 2020, when the world as we knew it shut down. I vividly recall sitting in the baseball dugout during our final meeting. We celebrated a walk-off victory over our crosstown rivals the night before, just to be told our season was over. Just like that, my fairy tale ending turned into my greatest nightmare. Days later, I was rejected from my dream school, UCLA, and my fate was sealed. I would attend community college. When I told my peers who were admitted to top schools that I was going to Saddleback, I felt like a stigmatized outcast. My name is Tabitha Howard. As a daughter of a minister, Christian, and a black woman in America. The experiences I've had throughout my life haven't all been easy, but I've always pushed through them thanks to the cultivation of discipline from education. I started here at Saddleback with the intent to become a medical lab technician. With only four practicums left in the MLT program, I decided to switch majors and pursue nutrition. Then came the obstacles. One of the most significant experiences was in the fall of 2018, when my mental health took a turn after stepping away from a toxic, mentally and emotionally abusive relationship. I felt a heaviness like I never had before, trying to juggle work, school, relationships. I considered taking the not so easy way out by stepping into the Pacific Ocean for good. But God and Sadabat College personnel rescued me, and here I humbly stand today. Against all odds, I finished that semester with an A and two Bs, period. My name is Doreen Greenleaf. I'm 62 and dyslexic. My letters flipped back and forth. When I was in the first grade, my mom and teacher said I was going to special education. From that day day on, I had, no, I had no chance of an education. I never felt like I belonged there and was unable to get out. All I've ever wanted in my life was to learn. When I was in the 10th grade, I went home crying that day, pleading with my mom to get me out. I showed her my math work. That was still just two plus three equals five. My mom's response was, no, that crushed me. No one believed I could learn. I graduated from high school. I was illiterate. I could neither read nor write. I did not have the classes that most children had in school, math, reading, history, science, English. And after high school, I tried to go to college. After just one class, 
I walked away. Cause even the stars, they burn. Some even fall to the earth. We've got a lot to learn. God knows we're worth it. No, I won't give up. My first semester here was a tough one. It was during the peak of the pandemic where online education was the only option, which was also less optimal for those of us who are used to the interactive nature of in-person classes. As a student who was pursuing a major in the health sciences field, it was definitely a challenge because many of my classes involved lab work and experiments where maxif maximal efficiency in learning can be achieved through in-person classes. Thankfully, the Saddleback College administration and its faculty adjusted quickly to lessen the feeling of missing out on these academic coursework. When I finally set foot on campus, my first sight was the entrance sign. Saddleback College, welcome to opportunity. Even the steps and paths around campus are filled with motivational lines like improve today or make a difference. With every step I took, every professor and classmate I interacted with, I became even more convinced that community college lays host to the world's future pioneers of innovation and change. Fast forward 40 years later, I came here, I found everything very confusing. The only place where I felt I could get help was at the academic counselor's office. My first class was a tax class, which the professor was covering four chapters a week. Once again, I went back to the counselor's office, telling her I was drowning in my class. She asked me if I'd been to DSPS office. What's that? I replied. DSPS asked me if I'd be willing to be tested. Of course. At that time, my grade level was about the third grade. I only took one class per semester. I spent 40 to 50 hours a week on my schoolwork. My GPA currently is 3.21. This. This has been an uphill climb for me, and here I stand on graduation day, receiving my accounting certificate. I don't wanna be someone who walks away so easily. I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make. Our differences, they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools and gifts we got. Yeah, we got a lot at stake. And in the end, you're still my friend. At least we did intend for us to work. We didn't break, we didn't burn. We had to learn how to bend without the world caving in. We had to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am. To my family who have been there since day one, thank you for the abundant support. The sacrifices that you made uplifted me to further reach my goals. Overcoming the trials and obstacles would not be possible without the support of my friends, as well as faculty who have been there to see me through my breaking points, my hopelessness, and self-doubts. They have given me the reaffirming words that I needed to survive the tough road that is college. To my friends, I will also forever cherish those moments where we share joy and laughter. Not too often do you find people in life who are truly in your corner when it comes to academia, particularly when it comes to leaders, professors, and staff going above and beyond the basic job description as authentic mentors. For me, these people were Professor Walter Bayube and Professor Lori Houlihan. Professor Bayube was sweet and selfless. He went far and above to make sure his students had every possible chance to succeed and progress in his classes. Take it from me, I had a tough chem class one semester and actually passed things to him. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'd also, <laughs> I'd also like to thank Professor Lori Houlihan, the chair of our nutrition department and the family and consumer sciences department here at Saddleback. She truly has been with me every step of the way, doing everything in her power to guide me through the many hiccups that came my way throughout my residency here. She's been one of my biggest cheerleaders and supporters, and I cannot thank her enough for being the mentor I sorely needed while navigating this journey called college. She has made her mark on my life, personally and professionally, for which I am incredibly grateful. For me, these people were Professors Emily Quinlan, Bridget Hoyda, and most of all, my mama. All of you guided me to become someone who my younger self could only dream of. With your guidance, I interned for Congress and became president of the Pre-Law Society, where we interviewed Congressman Levin on campus for our entire Saddleback community. I want to thank my tutor, Nicholas Misanov. I could not have made it without you. You were so patient with me. Professor Quinlan, who referred to me as her sponge because all I wanted to do was soak up the education I could. Professor Green, uh, Denise Green, my first English professor or teacher. Maria Hansen, an EOPS. Regina Shimora, NDSPS. Mike Sauter, NDSPS. My Aunt Lou, and most of all, the Lord for helping me every step of the way. on us even if the skies get rough I'm giving you all my love I'm still looking up I'm still looking up well I won't give up on us God knows I'm tough enough we got a lot to learn. God knows we're worth it. Indeed, Saddleback College is the home of opportunity. We reject the community college stigma and leave Cynic speechless. This fall, I will be finally attending UCLA to earn my bachelor's in political science and pursue my dream of public service. Whether your academic journey has concluded or you're just getting started, I have one request for you as you depart this institution that embodies opportunity for all. Hold fast to the value of optimism. Optimism is our soul, the belief that our destiny will not be written for us, but by us, by all of those who refuse to settle for the world as it is and have the bravery to remake the world as it should be. To the class of 2022, my advice would be to prioritize yourself and your mental health. No one is going to take care of you more than yourself. And whatever path you move forward into, transfer, non-transfer, studying abroad, etc., the path will only be that much better if your whole self is present and if you invest in yourself. It was truly more than being inspired and motivated to reach the light at the end of the tunnel. Rather, I hope we have learned something in ourselves from the journey in the tunnel itself of how we persevered and triumphed over the obstacles we have faced for the past couple of years and have kept the end goal in mind. That journey or the realizations we have made for ourselves should serve as a significant lesson that we should carry on for the rest of our lives because no textbook, diagrams, or discussion boards could ever teach us that lesson better than ourselves. So thank you, and congratulations. To the graduating class of 2022, we, we made, made it! it! I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my 
Good morning, graduates. Good morning. Today, we have the honor of celebrating the exceptional achievements of three of our outstanding professors, in addition to all of you, of course. Each year, students nominate candidates for Professor of the Year. Those selected exemplify the best of Saddleback's faculty, not only are they skilled, innovative educators, they are also compassionate individuals who genuinely care for and believe in their students, all of you, and who inspire them, you, to believe in themselves. Professors of the Year are awarded to our full-time faculty, part-time or associate faculty, and faculty in the Emeritus Institute, which promotes lifelong learning for ad older adults throughout Orange County. It is my great pleasure to introduce our 2021-2022 Professors of the Year. As I read your name, would each of our honorees please come to the stage? Farida Gabdrahmanova, Professor of Interior Design in the Division of Advanced Technology and Applied Science. Okay. First, I have to find the correct plaque. You can go. Jan Smith, Associate Professor of Interior Design in the Division of Advanced Technology and Applied Sciences. And our third Professor of the Year is Mike Ward, Associate Professor of Kinesiology in the Emeritus Institute, who was unable to join us today. But still, give him a round of applause. This year, we have 13 retiring faculty members. Vice President Vo Kumamoto, in recognition of their outstanding service and steadfast dedication to our students, respective academic divisions, and our college community, the faculty of Saddleback College recommend that we elevate the following distinguished educators to the honored status of Professor Emeritus. Professors, please stand when I announce your name. Douglas Barr, <laughs> Janet Bagwell, Kim Branch Stewart, Barbara Cox, Stephen Crapo, Robert Farnsworth, Scott Fear, Sharon Haas, Alex Lorente, Gary Luke, Ardith Lynch, Larry Radden, and Pam Turner. Thank you, Professor Lovett. Uh, it is with great pleasure that I accept and endorse this recommendation. 
The many contributions made by these professors have been profound during their tenure. Please join me in a one more round of applause for these faculty. <laughs> Professors, we wish you well and you will be missed. Come back and visit us often. All right, everyone, now is the best part of the day because it gives me great pleasure to now present the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Will the graduates please rise? These students have successfully completed their degree or certificate requirements and they have been duly recommended by the faculty of Saddleback College for the degrees of Associates of Arts and Associate of Science, Certificates of Achievement, or Occupational Skills Awards. Thank you, Dr. Lovett. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Saddleback College, these students are now candidates for the degrees of Associates of Arts, Associates of Science, Certificates of Achievement, and Occupational Skills Award. The President of the Board of Trustees of the South Orange County Community College District will now confer their degrees and their Certificates of Achievement and Occupational Skills Awards. Thank you, President Stern and Professor Margot Lovett. Um, by the authority vested in me by the State of California, the Board of Governors of the California Community Colleges, and the Board of Trustees of the South Orange County Community College District, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and all the rights and privileges to which you are entitled. Please come forward to, to, to receive your diplomas or certificates your diplomas or certificates of achievement, and we are so very proud of you. Kendall Steer. Anissa Applebaum. Jenna Nicole Toms. Elijah Robles. <laughs> Angelo Josh Weiner Barag. Tabitha Patrice Howard. Doreen Greenleaf. Mona El Sheik. <laughs> Rehane Sadat Baafi. Eric Allen Rivera. Sit Lolly Anastasia Diaz. Christian Miko Montoya Cruz. Lorna Vu. Kanaya Jeanette Baez. Jeannie Pretorius. Haley Shantae Peralt. 
Luca Russell Umania. Connor Stephen Clarenson. Jacqueline Rose Sharga. Alexa Nicole Parvane. Jessica Lynn Pooley. Richie Marrero Jr. Julie Lilliam Ramirez. <laughs> Yasmin Cuevas. Angel Eugenio Barrientos. Vera Fernanda Rodriguez. Christina Aaron Centerfit. Gabriela Estefany Hernandez. Nina Lomanoko Perez. Eliza Jean Alcazar Ulanadi. Diamanda Margado Ibanez. Alida Patricia Sanchez. Garen Andrew Schiller. Okay. Mm -mm. Maria Walters. I'm okay. Satara Martin. Samuel Liam Lockhart. Lucero Rivera Castileja. Kiara Bolin. A. Gino Hakala. Jill Masteller Cagle. <laughs> Katerina Stoller. Renoa Aria Granados Barbudo. Who's next? Ana Sofia Acosta. <laughs> Natasha Patrick. <laughs> Kai Vargas. <laughs> Courtney Brianne Morales. Abby McNeil. 
Savannah Paxton. Got him. I have Riley. Riley William Herbert. I have it. Riley Marie Ziff. We don't have Savannah. Congratulations, Mary Jane Stevens. Savannah Paxton. <laughs> Nicolette Pergi. Got it. Colin Sayer Caldwell. Shasta Delgado. <laughs> Michaela Brooke Sampson. <laughs> Megan Long. Anita Rosaline Rivas. Chloe Joanne Corder. Kimberly Nicole Taylor. Malik Mohammed. John Edward Garbino the second. James C. Sun. Tavon Serta Ofo. Emma Marie. Diego. Sarah Marie Vasquez. Chua Lacambra. Angela. May Dial. Maria Ann Williams. Michael Vies. Ikaika Late. Afsani Nuri Dust. Daria Nolahi. <laughs> Michaela Hannah Partington. Alexander Johnston. Nicholas Anton Perkins. Sarah Tehrani. Enriqueta Lares. Stacy Alessandra Rupe. Congratulations. 
Eric Toshi Nakayama. Sandy Rios. Caleb Matthew Arellano. Astasia Brianna Calderon. Mark Castillo. Richard Ricardo Marin. Juan Ulysses Ramirez Dominguez. Veronica Ruby Lopez. Alyssa Keiko Gervasio. Berkeley Donovan Farmer. Yeah. Araceli Guzman Milan. Adrian Ignacio Alzamora. Lilian Fernanda Araujo Mosqueda. Michaela Marie Salus. Brooke Sakiko Stahl. Catherine Rodriguez. Jaden A.C. Knickerbocker. Great. Cindy Garcia Balderas. Jasmine Ponce. Jillian Pamela Gabauer. Jennifer Claire Presley. Anne Catherine Denny. Zuri Sadai Ojeda. Jeremy Michael Dostis. Joshua Ian Dostis. Lauren Patty. Oh. Jillian Grace Dostis. Lily. Liliana Jade Fry. Peyton Michelle Booch. Trevor Quinn Speetson. Sirena Aviana Gio. Rael Hoffman. Andrew Laguna.
Gabrielle Marie Whitcomb. Chris Curtis Botcher. Juan Diego Quintero. Olivia Marie Romero. Stephanie Nicole Magnelli. Max Francesco Grillo. Zachary Worth. Mitchell Ryan Taylor. Alexis Marie Simmons. Jalisa Session. Symmetria Star Session. Ivy Rose Beal. Christine Han. Logan Michael Blakeborough. Jada Haley Fonseca. Molly Catherine Volkland. Jessica Lynn McMullen. Ethan Beck Warden. Nadim Yosef. Aaron Hernandez Diaz. Karis Ryan Pulfer. Amanda Ella Layfield. Soleil Mist Berkson. Ibrahim Ali Yassin. Dejana Andrea Pulido Avila. Talia Joy Friendel. Sierra Isabella Soto. Taylor Jan Rossman. Sierra Elizabeth Simonak. <laughs> Avery Nodare. Yaron Hua. Samantha Carillo. Tyler Michael Camelot.
David Merriweather Thompson. Brianne Carlis. Caden Jane Caldera. Giselle Hernandez. Merlin. Merlin Liana Sukiel. Samuel Timothy Brown. Cam. Cam Raymond Wolf. Delaney Catherine Wilson. Bernadette. Bernadette Mesholzade. Anayi Ajian. Iris. Iris Elizabeth Mantacoon. Isabel Donald Kroom. Mariana Lagrava Romero. Samantha Sophia Benskin. Shah Hayek. Stephanie Rivera. Brianna Celeste Santos. Troy Matthew Von Workum. Cecilia Carmen Parada. Savannah Victoria Garcia. All right, thank you. Caitlin Leanne Glatfelter. Elise Gabrielle Chubb. <laughs> Alyssa Ann Berg. Omid Bolizade. Jennifer Davis. Maximiliano Carlos Varela. Emily Marie Artiga. Giovanna Soto. Amanda Nelson. Ricky Wyckoff. Christopher Gabriel Telez. Joshua Kenneth Gomez. Paul Raymond Doyle Jr. Emmy Tatsuno. Chelsea Marie Bennett. William David Dunn. K. 
Calvin Jeffrey Jordan Williams. Ana Trinidad Vega. Desiree Sado. Ethan Tyler Safai. Ashley Christina Moncayo. Julia Nicole Reno. Leah Nayeli Acosta. Caitlin Lee Adams. Jasmine Valdivia Olivares. Joaquin Jacob Heredia La Libre. Esmeralda Sotelo Tierra Blanca. Kristen Michelle Walker. Sarah Samirani Nijad. Christopher Brown. Lindsay Ann Fulton. Mikey Anthony Mangles. Jalen Guadalupe Munoz. Evelyn Armenta. Samuel David Meek. Nicholas Craig King. Cole Alexander Sherburn. Dustin Parker Kersey. Mary Elizabeth Church. Olga. Daniel Mayer Roth. Olga Golding. Got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Courtney Hallahan. Jamal Brown. Genesis Ramirez Fontes. Precious Juliet Yuluya. Melissa Marie Cepeda Arias. Jaime Eduardo Verde. Benjamin Jeremy Verde. Tara Williams. Abigail Eileen Bradley.
Megan Leslie Roberts. Christopher Morville. Ethan Michael Knoll. Nelson Ramirez. Dolly Shamardian. Niknas Nafisi Yazdi. Luciana Marie Fusco. Okay. Maria Margaret Kent. Shane Manrique Nolia. Jeff Matthew Stump. Nina Mackenzie Swaggart. Evelyn Flynn. Raviel Luigi Parina Roque. Claudia Vanessa Uribe. Osvaldo Uribe. Amira Tusco. Jordan Millington. Lauren? Lauren? Lauren Reed Harvey. Charles Franklin Smith. Andrew Dao Hua. April Cepeda Gonzalez. Delaney Puthuff. Pazina Bada. Caitlin Elizabeth Tennell. Priyanaz Kiever. Faith Elizabeth Gilman. Daryl Doan. Madison Marie Gregg. I didn't. I didn't read. Daisy Joelda Self. Clarissa. Clarissa? Okay. Clarissa. Kiana Jordan Reed. Okay. Malala. Argon Dewal. Eloise Marie Erickson. Lucas Bradbury. Yeah. Margaret Catherine Dang. Diane Kio Mihara.
Joshua Dower Wertheim. Dylan Scott. Oliver Brewer. Caroline Flores. Nadia. Nadia Rain Punak. Tiffany Fonseca. Jazz Aubin. Andrea Linares. Marichelle Phillips. Piper Alexis Porter. Arlene. Ashley Jenna Cohen. Bianca Arlene Mendoza. Jose David Cruz Gutierrez. Tyler Justin Clavana. Telly Anthony Correas. Evan Myers. Jasmine Royhoney. Lydia Miron. Yolanda Christine Velasquez. Maria Elisa Rusol Cruz. Maria Elisa Rusol Cruz. Miguel Tobias. Amy Fuller. But we were supposed to do that. That was the idea. Okay. <laughs> Regina Sofia Orta Del Delgado. I'm sorry, Jim. You can take over for me soon. Michelle Renee Cossi. Amy Lee Winger. Here you go, Jim. You read. <laughs> Isabelle Dargel. It's going to be your next one. <laughs> Ashley Brooke Critelli. <laughs> Irina Sato. Elian Hobaisha Sherman. <laughs> Catherine Ugarov. Ola Bana. Reem Shoker. Christina Marie Heinel. Keep going. Keep going. Trinity Dove Scott. Do I have Noah? Kaleo Artium Trionomai. Okay. And Noah James Haymond. Harrison John Robert Chubb. 
Lucia Lomasecchio. Bella Lucia Lomasecchio. <laughs> Peter Faltaos. Christian Alexander Lawrence. Lily Taylor. Emily Page Leon. Isenia Vargas. Sonjana Potsaichev. Leslie Lisbeth Martinez. Amanda Monique Portillo. Yigane Shahabi Magadam. Adriana Tapia. Chloe Austin Schiller. Olivia Nicole Nelson. David Ahmad Sherdell. Stephanie Ann Trimpey. Glenn Allen Bianchi Jr. Sierra Kaufman. Yanni Kuzboris. Tyler Samuel Danger Com. Noah James Christus. Sarah Olivia Esquivel. Heather Tobin. Dylan Patrick White. <laughs> Nayem Arya. Kelsey Marie Sagert. Aaron Denise Bernier. Isabella Catherine Hoba. Shada Hossein Ali Orami. Grace Liu. Charles Trulier. Randall Winvick. Megan Shirelli Matthews. Got it. Nathan Alexander James. Yeah. 
Julie Catherine Yura. Diana Patricia Manzano. Beck Murley. Parker Rishton Lipka. Ederin Ramona Gonzalez. Lena Hochholzer. Marina Mendez Lima. Keon Matthew Kermani. Luisa Sartorio Gava. Sean Christopher Trumbly. Griffin. Jared Michael Hagen. Griffin, what's your last name? Mains? Okay. Griffin Mains. Okay. It wasn't on there. Didn't read it. Gabriella Ness. <laughs> Faize Reza Ali. Corina Brianne Castillo. We had a bottleneck. Sanaz Karashi. Manessa Hart. Laura. Laura Chuchi. Alexi May D. Samantha Bulliard. Shannon Marie Siegel. Peter Anthony Rizberato. Rizberato. Sorry, sorry, Peter. <laughs> Jonathan Braden Tribble. Carlos Daniel Figueres. Alicia de Santiago. Taryn Lee Thompson. Priscilla Marie Lenker. Emily Carson. Spencer Devin McAllister. Christian Loaura. Riley Lawson. Aparnia Prakash. Marumita Sampath Kumar. Jessica Gutierrez. Berenice Galindo.
Romina Mojavar Zargar. <laughs> Nosanin Budarsi. <laughs> Arisa Tagazade. Negar Petahi. Renee Maile. Lauren Elizabeth Bear. Serene Hamza. I got you. Nika Panahi. Iger Gliozeni. Kiyu Harrison Ambi. Gran Mainly. <laughs> Hamile Khan. <laughs> Fatima Tofig. <laughs> Camille Honda. Knowles Knowles. Christine Baca. Maria Guadalupe Corrado. Cassie Spencer. Joshua Morgan William Reed. Luz Griselda Bejarano. How you doing? Congratulations. Put it in the middle like you have the other ones that were. Gabrielle Habib. Danielle Habib. Shamil Asad Malik. Doug Wayne Hensley. Tatiana Orseco. Victoria Nicole Romero Castanon. Jacqueline Paris Dubia. Danielle Irene Leard. Karen Yvette Esquivel. Sequoia Grace Ortiz. Dakota Sue McMahon. Gabriel Axel Molina. Jules Jean Fortin. Jason Ryan Farley. Alexis Salazar. Matthew Paul Stiverson. How you 
done that. Congratulations. Vahid Nozari. Brian Butsari. Claire Joy Allman. Yosef Mohammed Salem. Rovinia Ruha. Sefer Farman. Let's go, Seth! I don't have that. Do you have him? Okay. Matt Shams. I still don't have him. I don't know who this is. I don't have this one. Margo, we don't. I don't know. I've got it. Okay. John Anthony Walmeyer. Emery Burke Olude. Daniela Kayla Tarveron. Ariel Madison Golden. Emily Hannah Andros. Madison Rose Kirkland. Lauren Michelle Spur. Xavier Patrick Narciso Tavernier. Joyce Kristen Sangalang Hurtado. Jasmine Renee Ray Gutierrez. Kendall Hayes. Dimitri Evans Meyer. Dana Francis Wilski. Jacob Alexander Herrett. Loya Rose Yost. Sophia Dominga Emily Weller. Jonathan Derek Flores. Nathan Sue. Daria Ashti Ashtiani. Kaihan Jung. Michelle Ono. Taheri Fasil. Patricia David. Laura Inez Tagliabue. Adrian Alexis Galang. Jessica Lynn Denlinger. I'll turn this. Yeah, I can. Lindsay Nicole Krempa. C. 
Sierra Marie Summers. Anne Louise Cummings. Desia Ayadine Rodriguez. Kylie Michelle Thompson. Christian Alejandro Martinez. Jerry Martin Mancia Marida. Benjamin Kenji Ogawa. Donia Shavini. Ariana Boroff. Hasina Habibi. Miley Britton. Francisco Rodrigo Yaro. That's what I would expect. Natalie Jimena Villa Solis. Jessica Nicole Wilding. Mansure Morshed Hassan. Charmise Chambers. Hayden Joseph Glenlob. Tamine Karimi Magadam. Yasamin Rizuli Mobareke. Okay. Carrie Ann McMenamin. Azal Hossein Khani. You make it sound like it was raining and then it snowed. Like... Who is that? Atusa Keshvardust. Rojin Farzan Fard. Avery Mason Riddle. <laughs> Natalia Elizabeth Martinez. Yeah, this is where this is where like. Amy Nicole Lorkovic. <laughs> Cesar Ricardo Cordova Sr. Van T. Pham. Evan Matthew Pronesti. Jacob Christian Malari. We also want to acknowledge Soledad Atia, who could not be here today. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Ready? Graduates, please rise. In a moment, we're going to engage in a historic ritual with great significance. Uh, but right now, before we do that, I ask all guests to remain seated during the recessional.
you will be able to meet your graduate outside after all of our graduates have exited the stadium. Graduates, you are now invited to take part in the time-honored tradition. Since days long ago, when all students were identified by the caps and gowns they wore, those who had not yet earned a degree wore a tassel on the right side of the mortarboard. So make sure your tassel at this moment is on the right side of your mortarboard. When the degree was conferred, the scholar moved the tassel to the left and so joined a select company. Are you ready? Now, following that academic tradition and recognition of your newfound status, graduates, go ahead and move your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations to Saddleback College graduates of 2022! the music of Magic Sauce.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 